So let's uh, read uh, about biography of Adolf Hitler. Yeah, he uh, passed away. He killed himself, or whatever happened with him. And there also, I guess, some controversials. But uh, yeah, he uh, when you when you thinking about the evil, I think he at the first place. And uh, yeah, he died, passed away long time ago, but he's still a uh, kind of popular figure uh, in a way when uh, people talking about uh, the devil or stuff, that kind of bad things, he like at the first place. So let's today try to uh, understand his biography uh, like what uh, what was his background uh, and uh, uh, read in all details not all details but uh, anyway we will try to understand closer as much as we can uh, what kind of person it was yeah. Brief biography of Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler was born in uh, Braunau, Braunau, Austria. His mother seems to have been a kind uh, woman. His uh, strict father was an Austrian government worker. Hitler was almost constantly fighting with his father. Against his father's wishes, he went to Vienna as a young man to study art. Yeah, you know, the beginning it sounds like um, nothing special, family with uh, just a kid who wants to be an artist. Yeah, no one, no one could predict that it's going to be such as evil. So he was refused entrance into an art school. Uh, yeah, our chain, our world maybe would be different if uh, they just fucking accept him to study <laughs> this art. Empower, empower, I'm empower shit. Fucking yeah, as you see, my English is cheap, and uh, at the same time, I'm improving my English. So let's check uh, the meaning and the pronunciation. Empowers, empowerished, 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 empowerished. Okay, it's mean, made poor, very poor. Ah, it comes from poverty. Oh, I get it. Okay. So, empowerished, uh, he became one of Vienna's an unemployed uh, a king, a king. Okay, another new word. And let's check out the meaning. Uh, a, a king, is it the same? A king? So, it's the it's mean the act or process of adding that which is added. Okay, when you're adding something. So, impoverished, he became uh, one of we Vienna's unemployed eking out or a living painting postcards. Living in... Um, Flop house, a cheap man's hotel in Vienna. He began to listen to street corner anti Semitic speakers. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I see uh, the roots of his uh, uh, mentality, of his uh, thoughts. Uh, he was uh, rejected um, from the art school and uh, he. Uh, started to listen this kind of shit at the street about uh, anti-Semitic stuff. So he later said he he learned the truth about the international Jew in Vienna. So Hitler enlisted in the Germany in German army when World War One uh, broke out and claimed in his uh, autobiographical Mein Kampf. Uh, it's translate translation like my struggle that he was astonished to discover that Germany had lost the war in 1918 
after World War One, un after World War One, unemployed again, he moved to Germany, where he joined uh, the new, the newly former German Workers Party in 1920. Uh, after Hitler failed to seize uh, the government of Bavaria, uh, a state in northern Germany, in, sorry, in southern Germany, in 1923. It seemed as if, as, uh, if his political career was over, uh, nevertheless uh, turning to legal methods of uh, gaining political power. Hitler walked behind the scenes to rebuild his party. Yeah. Again, he was rejected from the school. He started to listen to this anti-Semitic stuff at the street. He came back to the German and uh, started to working on uh, creating on his own party. In the 1925 uh, presidential elections, Hitler convinced uh, the World War I uh, commanding general uh, Erich von Ludendorff to run on the Nazi ticket. Uh, the Nazis failed miserably as Hindenburg was elected with an uh, overwhelming majority. In uh, 1932, Hitler himself ran for president. Although he was uh, defeated by Hindenburg, Hitler uh, received over 36% of the popular vote, more than 13 million votes. Wow! Kind of big number. For many reasons, Hitler's support had grown between 1925 and 1932. Uh, he was among the first to employ modern techniques for election campaigns. His use uh, of, fact, of fast cars and airplanes allowed him to speak to thousands of people each day. Uh, his professional propagandists and filmmakers used radio and film to create an image of a deal Führer, the leader, as confident, strong and concerned. Yeah, as we see, he uh, gets to power and uh, starting to promoting himself. Yeah. I just want to imagine how it's going to be if uh, TikTok and that kind of stuff going to be uh, popular, like if, if that was happening these days, oh my god, yeah, you just, uh, just imagine how Hitler uh, promoting himself in TikTok and saying, uh, subscribe my channel. <laughs> Uh, his professional propagandists and filmmakers uh, used uh, radio and film to create an image of their Führer, uh, the leader, as a confident, strong and concerned. He was uh, unmatched as a public speaker and took great pride in his ability to manipulate and uh, intimidate people. Yeah, I was watching his uh, way of speech and uh, the way of his speaking, it's like uh, full of emotions you know even uh, if you don't understand german language uh, his uh, the way of his how he expressing his um, uh, his thoughts his emotions but also i heard that he was kind of addicted to s some sort of drugs i think it was also because of that that what that's why he was so energetic. So anyway, he was uh, a good public speaker uh, and uh, was good in manipulating people. Uh, in the end, uh, it was uh, not what Hitler said to crowds of thousands that mattered, but how he said it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it was not about uh, the words, what he was saying, it was about how you're saying the words, uh, and because uh, people pay attention, people judging uh, the car, how they so harm, 
like people use it to say don't judge don't judge book by cover but most of people judging book by cover most of people um uh, <clears throat> pay attention first of all uh, to the to the form and they don't they don't pay attention what is inside of it that's why i think he was uh he was able to manipulate people so slogans and carefully staggered meetings and ra rallies gave the country the impression that he could do no wrong and knew exactly what germany needed uh, in 1933 president uh, von hindenburg and his political advisors uh, perceived hitler as an an educated uh, gutter politician yet they believed that only hitler could bring a stop to the violence in the streets often caused by nazi brown shirts uh, sa men nazi brown shirts interesting name convinced that he would be able to control hitler hindenburg appointed his him uh, chancellor uh, let me check another word looks like chancellor but i'm not sure about pronunciation chancellor. oh it's chancellor okay chancellor a person in a position of the highest uh, or high rank okay chancellor the chief minister of state in some european countries oh in other words it's kind of minister okay hindenburg appointed him uh, chancellor on Jan january 30 1933 hitler was uh, 44 years old by march 1933 it was clear that hindenburg had been uh, seriously mistaken about controlling hitler uh, the chancellor used a variety of methods to gain total power and govern germany as a dictator he manipulated the mass media yeah as we see uh let's make some small conclusion uh he was he back to germany he started to make his own party and uh, uh, the president at that time was uh, not so happy not so friendly to him but he was uh he was he was about he decided to use him in a way to remove criminals from the streets but he uh, his uh, the power of hitler gets uh stronger and stronger and uh, it seems he he was like uh, just about getting more control getting more power uh, so and yeah and it's turning to be the dictator dictatorship country so he invented a communist conspiracy which he claimed was uh, directed at uh, uh, domination germany in order to save the country from this communist threat he said the civil rights guaranteed by the weimar constitution by weimar yeah it's german war okay weimar constitution had to be eliminated even Hindenburg, Hindenburg uh, seemed to believe in the conspiracy theory. The president allowed Hitler to replace the constitution with a series of emergency decrees. One of the most sweeping was uh, the Enabling Act. This act gave Hitler the right to govern Germany by passing laws without the approval of uh, Reichstag. It's a par parlam. It's parliament. I mean translation. It's mean parliament. So, based on such emergency decrees, he shut down newspapers, radio stations, trade unions, and opposition political parties. He also had government agencies write laws that began to remove Jews from German society and from the economy. 
Yeah, uh, we can see his uh, skill to manipulate people and uh, even he was uh, good in manipulating uh, the president of Germany at that time. He convinced him that uh, communists evil, that that the that the communists trying to destroy German and uh, president believed to his uh, conspiracy theory and led him to do almost uh, whatever he wants. Under Hitler's rules, Germany seemed to be regaining prestige. In accordance with the Versailles tri tri Treaty, some of the territory loss after World War I uh, was returned to Germany. Hitler's strength strengthened it in the army in spite of the Versailles Treaty, which had limited the uh, German armed forces. Arms industries helped pull Germany out of the depression and unemployment was reduced drastically. Other countries seemed to support Hitler, whom uh, they saw as a defense against communism and the Soviet Union. It seemed that his uh, promise of law and order was being kept. The police were everywhere and it was safe for most Germans to walk uh, the streets at night. Yeah, we see that at, for a while, like at that time, uh, he was uh, good uh, in a way to removing criminals from the street, even though he was using dictatorship methods and uh, uh, the economy of Germany was kind of uh, getting stronger at that time so all those thought to, to hold the anti-Nazi opinions however or or Jews or those uh, suspected of not uh, supporting the Nazi government were sub subject to arrest and uh, or, beating, or beatings. Uh, people were taken from uh, their homes or of the streets to the newly opened concentration camps. They might be kept there for years without any news of their whereabouts, whereabouts uh, being uh, sent to their families. Upon release, they were made to swear they would remain silent about their experiences in the camp under the threat of being ar uh, rearrested along with their families. Uh, few were willing to break that promise knowing their families might be en endangered. So, Hitler believed that to maintain power, his philosophy had to be aimed at Germany's young people. In uh, just a few seconds. So, Hitler believed that to maintain power, his philosophy had to be aimed at uh, Germany's young people. In uh, December 1936, he passed uh, the law concerning the Hitler Youth. Under the, that law, all young people in Germany had to join Hitler Youth. Uh, Yath, Yath, I think. Let me check pronunciation. Pronunciation. Yes. Youth, okay, Youth. So... Uh, okay, the next his level is was uh, getting control of uh, taking control of young people, and he created this uh, the law concerning the Hitler Youth and forced young people to join to that uh, to that uh, to that party or whatever. Article two of the law stated. Uh, the entire German youth is to be educated physically, mentally, and morally in the Hitler Youth in the spirit of National Socialism. A young people now owed their allegiance uh, first and foremost to their Führer, Hitler. 
if I'm not wrong, Führer in English, oh sorry, German, it's mean uh, leader. So, even if it means abandoning their families, traditions, religion, and friends. Okay, let's read that la line again. Young people now owed their allegiance first and foremost uh, to their Führer Hitler, even if it meant abandoning their families, traditions, religion, and friends. Yeah, as we see, uh, serving to the Hitler is turning to be as a religion. It's replaced religion, actually. You almost, like, uh, have to worship to, to the Hitler. You, you like, uh, Hitler have to be almost like your god. Yeah. Germany would be uh, united in its youth. So, by 1938, Hitler boasted that Germany would be be become an empire that would rule Europe for 1,000 years. Oh. At first, his success was astonishing. For example, with no resistance, German-speaking Austria be uh, became part of the Third Reich, Hitler's Third Empire, in 1938. Half million Aus Austrians greeted their new leader with the joyous cries of uh, Heil Hitler as he rode uh, triumphantly through the streets of Vienna. Yeah, like Austria was uh, joining to his uh, Hitler's campaign, his ideology without any forcing, it was their own choice. So, obsessed with uh, obtaining Lebensraum living space, Hitler led Germany into World War II and uh, destruction. Because of his uh, fanatical desire to create an Aryan Europe for Germans, he ordered what one historian has called the war against the Jews, the attempted genocide of all Euro Europe's, Europe's Jews. World War II was to gain space for the Germans. Uh, they, the war against the Jews was to guarantee purity of, the, of race. Uh, these were two wars. Uh, they were related because they happened on the same territory at the same time, but uh, they were uh, to separate issues in Hitler's mind. Hitler was a powerful, clever, and ruthless polit politician he totally dominated Germany and uh, then most of Europe during World War II. Hitler promised the German people glory and prosperity. His promises were offered in empty slogans and phrases that masked lies or irrational arguments. Yet, because of his uh, magnetic style, many people accepted those slogans and phrases without thinking. Hitler could not have caused the Holocaust or World War II by himself, by, but n uh, neither of those events could have occurred without him. By 1945, he was responsible for the deaths of nearly uh, 6 million Jews and an, estim an, and an estimated 40 million more men, women and children. Hitler committed suicide in May 1945 as the Soviet army approached his underground uh, bunker in Berlin. In Berlin. Berlin. I think it's Berlin. Berlin. What's the right pronunciation? Okay. Berlin. So, it is, um, Berlin, 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 it's, oh, it can't sound like a, oh, okay. It was a uh, short history, short biography of, um, uh, uh, of the, of the most, of the big devil of, uh, of the whole human history, and, uh, yeah, even about his death, 
met so many conspiracy conspiracy theories like uh, actually he wasn't killed himself he was uh, uh run away to argentina or some and uh, some another um, oh, latin american country because uh, like uh, suddenly if i'm not if i'm not wrong in argentina so many german uh, community so big uh, their community and uh, yeah there are many theories that he's um uh, that hitler and his some uh his friends was uh was run away to there but yeah anyway uh yeah he was evil he did some shit and uh well, what's the moral of his uh biography and uh his life that uh i um, I very like uh, to quote, repeat this quote again and again, uh, that uh, as individual, uh, each person very smart, intelligent, but when it comes when it comes to following the crowd, they turn into be easy manipulated, turning to be silly because like uh, German culture is so you know rich they have many smart people but even though they was uh, manipulated with this uh, with this uh, not with this guy who was yeah not even he was not he didn't have special education he just his uh his main skill why he was uh, able to do all of this that he was uh, very good in uh, public speaking he was very good in manipulating people uh, no matter what he was saying the way how he was saying it was so touching to the people he was able to uh, to you know make you believe to him he was able to get you a trust and that's why millions of people believed him and uh, uh, yeah and that's why millions of people uh, uh, was uh, manipulated by him yeah, and did horrible shit because he gave them belief that uh, uh, they doing this for for the good thing. Yeah, thank you for listening. Goodbye.